fellow crocheters, it's Janet with CrochetPatternsForBeginners.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to learn the simple technique of how to close a hat or a cocoon or really any piece that you haven't crocheted necessarily um, from in the round from an increase to a decrease or from a decrease to an increase. So let's get started. This is our Remington hat. It goes with our Remington cocoon and I'm just going to show you real quick how to do this. So we have a tail here and that's great. Pardon my nails. I just noticed my polish was bad. And what we're going to do is with our tail we're just going to go ahead and thread our yarn needle. Okay, there we go. Got that in there. Okay, this is right side out, so let's turn it wrong side out. Okay. I have to pull the needle through on that. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. We're right here, and what we all we have to do, this is so easy, you're just going to love this, is just take the needle and weave it in and out of the last row of stitches, pull your yarn through just a little bit. See how that's gathering up already? See, look at that. All right, let's keep going. And just do this all the way around. And some of the cocoons that we, that we design, they have this technique. Some of them don't. Some of the hats that we have, they have this technique. Uh, some of them don't. I personally like this look um, over a lot of like the the increase or the decrease types. It's just I don't know. It just to me it just looks. I don't know. I just like. It. I prefer it. Okay, so as you can see, we're almost back to where we started. Let's just run it back over there and make sure that we're where we started here. Okay, so you give it a tug, and look what happens. How easy is that? Sometimes that's easier than counting <laughs> and crocheting um, and using your stitch markers and all that. So that's kind of why I prefer it. You know me, I like to make stuff easy. So let's just give it a real tight pull, okay? So now it's completely closed. And what we want to do is we just want to get in there real quick and we just want to just make sure that it's secure by sewing it. And this is, like I just said, this is in and out. You don't want to go too deep because you don't want the that part to cut into your crochet. Okay, that should be good enough. All right. All you have to do now is just tie it and cut off the tail. And as you can see, this is what it looks, looks like, the finished. It kind of forms an X, which, like I said, I really like it. I, I think it's nice. And we'll cover our next video on how to make a tassel. Then that's part of the, Rem the, the Remington cocoon and hat set. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.